Bots Review. In today's show, we're going to be reviewing the PadBot T1, this little cute robot you're seeing right now. You ready? Let's get started. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. So we have the pad bot here. All right. Ah, user guide. There it is. Pad bot. Oh, okay. Ah, looks like a recharge dock, perhaps. And there we go. Let's take a closer look. So we have the pad bot. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Just like this. Ooh. And there's the connector. So I imagine you take a phone and you put it like this, something like that. Okay. And you got the other attachments here. Here we go, there's an on and off button in the tracks. We'll have to try that. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay. So, let's install the app. So this is a telepresence robot. A telepresence robot allows you to be in a location virtually, so you can interact via audio and video without actually being physically there. Installing the application is very simple. Uh, it, it is available on Android and iOS. We tested it on several iPhones, including an, uh, an, an iPad Air 2. They all work the same, same behavior. Using the application is also very simple and highly configurable. You can set the resolution to 720p, highly recommended. Uh, you can set it up so that it will pick up your own calls, so you can connect uh, automatically to the device and interact with your pets or somebody else in the office. Also, if you're within Bluetooth distance, you can control the device um, by connecting to it, and like I am right now. Pretty neat. Uh, it also has sensors, and it will, it does a great job avoiding edges. That's pretty cool. And it can detect obstacles. Pretty smart little device. The power will last you about two hours uh, with regular use, 12 hours on standby, uh, but these guys have thought of everything, included this really neat uh, uh, dock, and which can be connected to, a po to power about here, and you can navigate off it, use the device, and then return to the dock to charge. That is awesome. What else? Uh, the device itself is 480 grams, pretty small, uh, pretty light, uh, but solid construction. Uh, no, no wear and tear from uh, our testing. Other than that, this is a great, great little robot. Pretty smart and I would say pretty useful. And now it's time for the unconventional challenge segment of the show. What is the unconventional challenge segment? So in this show, we like to expose every robot we test to a unconventional challenge of our choosing or to sometimes behavior unbecoming a robot. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to see if you can walk a dog with a pad bot. Let's see what happens. All right, easy now, buddy, easy. Easy now. All right, easy, buddy. Okay, that's good. All right, let's go, boy. Wait! All right, that did not work exactly the way we thought it would. Yeah. So what'd you guys think? Did you like the PadBot T1? Is it everything you wish it would be? Leave your feedback and comments in the comment section below. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like the show, please click the like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button. If you want to be notified for future shows, click the little bell next to the subscribe button. I know there's a lot of buttons. 
Paul, we appreciate you being here. I appreciate you uh, watching the show. And uh, we look forward to sharing with you more robots in the future. Until then, see you guys later. <laughs>